one hour evac time. So that helps the sheriff decide um, ultimately when to, to lift those, those um, orders and take them down to warning. So a tremendous amount of, of coordination um, that goes into that. And then we have a daily, what we call a cooperative meeting every morning at 10, mm -hmm. where we bring in whoever's interested, county commissioners come to that, um, sheriffs come to that. Um, occasionally, we haven't had issues here, but the power company is invited to that as well to help bring all the folks in the community that are affected by the fire together so we can help facilitate needs, um, you know, and, and help work with the sheriff too if somebody's got needs medication or something from the back of the house. And I want to that. really give you credit. I mean, all these incident command teams do such a good job with public information, making sure the community stays aware of what's going on, where the risks really are. It's really a credit to your whole team. I appreciate that. Yeah.